Hey guys, so good to see you. Um, we're going to do episode 12 of Soft Rain today, and I thought we would try a guest reader and see how it goes. Um, if he doesn't do so hot, I'll just intercept and read instead. So let's see how this goes with Mr. Levi reading for you, starting right there. Mother quickly unwrapped a huge piece of bacon she had carried from home. Soft Rain's mouth watered as Mother sliced it. Chew softly, Mother warned, handing each of them a thin slice. Soft Rain did until her piece was gone. My stomach likes our fat food best, she thought. Inside, she felt warm, calm, and most of all, green fern would not persuade to eat her share. Mother carefully packed it away with the rest of the bacon. She quickly hid the knife, for they had seen the soldiers take away even small knives. No weapons, they said. Soft Rain listened while Mother and Aunt Key, Key talked of being captured of father of where Father Hawk Boy and Uncle Swimming Bear could be when the darkness came. She slept next to a green fern. Once, when she awakened, the fern was shivering and moaning. Soft rain covered her cousin with part of her own blanket. The stirring of people and the heat of the day awakened her early. They motionless, content, thinking about having found Aunt Key and Green Fern. But it would, but will we ever find Father? Is, st is he still home? Picking our corn with Hawk Boy? She wished the soldiers would let her outside the stockade to bathe in the river. If only she could go to back to their cabin and bathe. She missed playing with her cool creek water with pets. She missed father and grandmother and hawk boys laughter. As the sun grew in the sky, the stockade became busier and noisier with people and with flies. All day, flies buzzed every bit. All day, Soft Rain complained of the heat and the sweat. We smell like big boots, she told Green Fern, who replied holding her nose. There were other bad smells, too. Every day, many people were sick and could not always get to bucket in time. Get to a bucket in time. Mother tried to comfort some of the sick children, whose mothers were also ill. Two small, small ones died in her arms. What makes them ill, Sofrain asked, pushing away a fly from her forehead. The white men's disease, Aunt Key muttered. Ah, ah. Anika's? Mm-hmm. Unika's. Unika's. The white men call themselves elder brothers. Ha! I would not call them Anika's. I forgot the word. It's a Cherokee word, so it's okay. And I thought, good elder brothers do not bring heartache and disease. One morning, soon after their arrival, Green Fern awoke in the... I've got disease. You make a disease with an you make a disease. They're getting sick. You make a disease. Red spots cover her face and arms. Mother and Aunt Key moved the blanket farther away, but Soft Rain could still hear her asking for water to bathe in, to get cool. I want water. 
I want to give water to Green Fern, and I can fan the flies off her too. Soft rain, and when Mother brought her back a drink, shh, she is very ill. Mother spoke softly. It is best to let her be alone. Aunt Key will take care of that. She gets enough water. If ours don't have enough, they can take care of ours. For many days, Soft Rain watched and worried about Green Fern until one morning she herself awoke, shivering, completely drenched in sweat. Then she began coughing. Her breath became hard as cough. As the coughing continued, her mother built a tent over her with a piece of cloth. We're gonna stop right there. So, Levi, what do you think about this book so far? What do you think? I don't know. Does it seem sad? Well, I haven't read the whole thing, so I don't but know. But what about the part you read today? It was okay because um the most of the family were getting sick. The family was getting sick. What did it mean when it said that they needed to use the buckets? Um, <laughs> I know, and I do not want to say it. <laughs> Would you have used the buckets? Uh, no. What does that no. mean? Yeah, they had Where to use the bathroom on the bucket. Uh, do you know who this happened to? Who this book happened to? Soft rain. Soft rain. It's part of the Trail of Tears. Oh. Yeah, so it's a pretty sad story about them being stuck in pens and getting sick. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your guest reader today. I thought he did a pretty good job, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.